Today we are going to test some nasty sh damping grease and we are heading to a drone racing paradise in this place. Alright, we are here. This is Andy flying himself. Mr. Neil, what do you think this is? Oh. I don't even know if I want to say that loud. It's like lip balm? I don't think it would work very good for the first nasty thing that came to my mind. I'm interested to see the science. Mr. Cole, what do you think this is? It, no, it's not going on with one. By the way, thanks to Evan Turner from fly533.com for providing me this grease, even though they're not selling it, but it was out of stock at the FIVI cycle and uh, he had an extra jar, so there we go. Let me call to my grease expert. If you think it's grease that's going to make you faster, there's no better grease out there than some made from real Texas barbecue. Are you going to drink it? If it makes me faster. Ew. <laughs> Mm. Ah. Okay, where's my radio? I hope I don't need to explain to my audience that this was a joke and you shouldn't be drinking any grease without asking your doctor. At least ask Quad Dog. This is our patient today, open racer. I put 6 inch arms and they're a little bit old to make sure we have some vibrations and resonances. These 53 motors are brand new, so to spice it up we're gonna do some crazy stuff like this with the props. First we're gonna fly a few batteries without the grease and record black box with gyro scaled and then we're gonna put grease on and repeat the same thing and then hopefully we can see some difference. This is my patient number two. Apparently because of vibrations your camera might unplug and you're gonna lose your video in the tall grass. So there we go, patient number two. Tips are still cut a little bit. All right, perfect. What are your estimations? Is this gonna help or no? Uh, well, I can't see how it would hurt. <laughs> Three packs done without grease, downloading black box. Now somehow I need to put this one between like all the arms and plates under the motors and screws. That's gonna be nasty. You. You wanna lick it? Looks tasty. This is gonna be hard. Uh, slides in there. <laughs> right on in. Yeah, right in there. Now I gotta do it with all the arms and put under all the motors and under all the screws here. It's already messy. And now it's time to put it under the motors. This is all pretty dirty now. The mechanic soap doesn't really help. Maybe it does help a little bit. I know for sure rubbing alcohol doesn't dissolve it, so yeah. Maybe I put a little bit too much, but I try to put it as little as possible. What do you think, Neil? I don't know, man. If it's not shaving off like two seconds a lap, I'm not messing with it. It's nasty. This is for the art. For art and science and coal. And for coal? Yeah. Now it's time to fly with greased up nasty quad. Three packs, back to back, repeating almost the same pattern of movements as without grease. And of course I could not feel any difference in the air except greasy fingers. But let's see what Black Box says. Because you know, if you don't feel it, doesn't mean it's not existing. Right guys, so I just did a quick check for the Black Box. Yep. And I don't see any difference. No like, difference? Like what? zero. What the hell? Yeah. Zero difference. Zero difference that I can measure anyways, oh, you know. Man. I don't know. Would you put grease on your drone? I don't know. I, I might have to try that like tiny bits of it right at the joints. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think Neil gonna now put the grease all over him. Yeah, I'm gonna put grease on my drone and, and get some Chris Rosser arms for sure. What That's what Cole gonna do too, no? Guys, it's gonna make my quad gross. Mm, yeah. Well, your part are gross anyways. No, look at that quad. It's so not gross. Oh, not gross. That's like <laughs> yeah, that's it is. Is it already in Velocidrone or yeah, is in the beta? In the beta, yeah. So. For the past week, nice. So, like... so for whatever reason, Cole has this one in his car, and it helps pretty good against grease. Yeah, it's for baby dog. Yeah. Link in the description to Amazon. So this quad is now dirty and nasty for nothing. You guys didn't believe that I have thrown away this quad, didn't you? I put some HQ props on it, and now it's my Freedom Spec quad. Ew. 
So let's have a look closer at the logs. This is PID Toolbox as always. Shout out to Brian White for developing this awesome program. Horizontal axis frequency, vertical noise power, red plot is no grease and dark plot is grease. Moment of silence for you guys to look, compare and think. What do I think? On your axis, grease here for whatever reason is a little bit more noisy. And then here is a little bit less noisy. And then here is a little bit more noisy. Here grease is again a little bit more noisy. Here is about the same. I think here everything will accept this one. Like why here grease is a little bit more noisy on yo. Maybe on this particular log I was yoing more aggressively a little bit. But everything else here stays, I think, within my method measurements accuracy. Let me explain what I mean. This is comparison of two no grease flights and there should be no difference theoretically but of course on practice there will be always difference like here one is a little bit more noisy than the other again on your this one a little bit more noisy by the way guys if you don't know what these plots are and you don't know how to read them i have a quick explanation in one of my previous videos where i compare chris rosser unidirectional carbon versus regular carbon link will be there and probably there like you know everywhere like links everywhere this is another comparison and these are two flights both with grease and you can see still they are not matching precisely even though they they are pretty similar but still you know not exactly even if i trim out here everything except the same maneuvers is still not going to be exactly the same and the reason for this tiny little difference in the logs is there are no two identical logs no two identical flights even no two identical maneuvers i might be doing prop wash maneuver a little bit more aggressively or a little bit less aggressive or in one log i might be doing throttle a little bit more than in the other log and then you will see tiny little spike here or there so my personal conclusion that the grease effect on the five inch drone on my five inch drone is way less that i can measure with this method or maybe there is no effect at least it is way less than they advertise here at the product page another example with another pair of logs grease and no grease you see the difference is just non-existent or here even if you force me to choose which is better i would say that no grease is better like you see here no grease is lower and noise here's everywhere no grease is lower and noise i don't think this is true but if you force me to choose that's the it's not going to be in favor of grease so is that it no. I randomly rename these logs and send all of them to some of the best Betaflight contributors and best Betaflight log reviewers. Zach Sugarcake, Superfly FPV, Techlama, Karate Broad, and Citizen Snows. If you've been around Betaflight Discord or Betaflight Slack or some of the Betaflight Facebook groups, you certainly know these guys. I did not tell them what exactly I am testing. I only told them that there might be a difference in the noise picture and that they need to split these logs into two groups a little bit better versus a little bit worse or they could say that there is no visible difference which is also fine here are the results and some comments you can see sugar k tech llama and limon which is me decided that there is no difference and nd means no difference superfly fpv decided to play this game and he actually guessed correctly 71 percent five out of seven he also said that if you look at them all together nothing really stands out and then he also said that abe are so close but i knew that some of the abe are grease and some of them are actually not so karate brought correctly guessed two of the greased ones and then he said the other four are very close the most interesting one is citizen snooze he was able to point out four best logs and they turn to be the ones with grease on the side note he also said that all logs are very similar and he also pointed at three logs with no grease and he said that these are a little bit better set point tracking so no grease better set point tracking a little bit is it something if you want to try yourself in this experiment there is a link to all these logs in the description just try it out and leave a comment which logs you think are with grease and which are without. Or, based on all this data I just presented, leave a comment. Grease is something or nothing.
or is it even worse? I think grease effect is nothing, nothing that I can measure or feel on my 5 inch drone. Maybe if we take something like 7 inch or even cine lifters where the surface area between the plates for friction is way bigger, maybe then we can feel some crease effect? That was an idea from Superfly FPV, but I'm not gonna test it on my 7 inch drone, it is too damn nice, I'm not gonna put any grease on it. You are the judges here in the comments. The 10 minutes video? Unbelievable. See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Yeah. I think that we've all had enough.